Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you're uh, seeing a spinning blue circle next to the mouse pointer uh, in your Windows 11 or Windows 10 machine. Now, um, in case if you're one among them who is facing a problem, this is a video for you. Please make sure to watch the videos uh, till the end. And I'm going to walk you through a different steps here. Now, the first thing what I would suggest you in case if you are facing this problem is to restart your computer. Now, basically, when you restart your computer, uh, this will go ahead and terminate uh, a lot of ongoing background processes uh, in case if you are if it is running in your computer. Now, the next step, what I would also suggest you to do is I would suggest you to disable your antivirus in case if you have any security software running on your computer. I would suggest you to go ahead and disable that. Uh, basically, in order to disable that, what you will have to do is you will have to click on the taskbar icon here and see if there are any um, antivirus. In my case, I have McAfee. So, what so to turn off the McAfee on your computer, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click and click on McAfee um, antivirus. This will open up all the settings related to your uh, McAfee. Um, under this section, um, you can click on this dotted arrow. And under the real-time scanning, you can click on this and uh, check the box which says turn off. You can uh, make uh, to test in case if McAfee is causing a problem, you might want to turn off for 15 minutes or a specific interval of time. And uh, click on turn off. What this will do is this will turn off uh, real-time scanning for McAfee and see if you're facing a problem. And at the same time, you can try to restart the computer and see if you're seeing a spinning circle uh, on your computer. Now, in spite of trying this step, in case if you're facing the same problem, the next step, what I would suggest you is turn the uh, security software back on. Um, the next thing is what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to kill the spooler services. So in case if you don't have any printer, but you have tried to print something in the past and if the spooler processes um, will be start on the background. So basically, uh, if you have not used a printer or if you have tried to print a document accidentally, the spooler services would be running in the background. So you would have to go ahead and end the print spooler services. So you will have to press Control Shift Escape on your keyboard, which will open up the task manager and in case if you see fewer details click on more details under this section um, what you will have to do is you will have to look for spooler subsystem app so all you have to do is you will have to do a right click and click on end task that will kill the spooler subsystem app or the spooler services and uh, and see if you're facing a problem this should basically resolve the problem in case if you're still facing a problem the next step is to locate and kill the uh, task which is uh, consuming a lot of memory. To do that, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and uh, press Control shift escape on your keyboard. In case if you see uh, fewer details, click on more details. Under this section, you will have to click on performances or processes. Under processes, uh, you will have to click on memory and check what application is using the uh, or uh, cons what application is consuming a lot of memory so in case if you are using any of these app um, you can go ahead and go ahead and kill those app so in my case i'm using um, the text camstasia app this is uh, a screen recorder in case if there are any specific app which you don't want to use or if they are still running what i would suggest you is i would suggest you to do a right click Click on end task and that will kill the particular task from the uh, task manager or from your computer. Basically, that will go ahead and free up some memory and that should fix the problem. So in spite of trying this step, if you're still facing the same problem, uh, the next step is to go ahead and change the pointer option. So this is not a fix, but actually a workaround to get rid of that annoying blue circle which changes uh, the mouse icon. So basically, what you will have to do is uh, you will have to click on search. In the search, you can go ahead and type main.cpl. Open this. This will open up the pointer option. Once you're on the pointer option, 
um, click on the pointers tab here and here you you will have to go ahead and select the first option so working in the background um, select the uh, working in the background option click on browse and under this you select open what it will do is in case if there is any app which is running in the background and if you are seeing the circle by default you're changing the mouse pointer icon to the arrow from the spinning circle to the arrow this will actually uh, this is a workaround like I said it is not a fix click on apply and then click on ok once this is done at least you would not see a spinning circle beside the arrow whenever uh, the, uh, complete, um, whenever uh, if the um, if you are seeing a spinning circle so that would be replaced by an arrow in case um, if that that doesn't solve the problem the next thing is to run a check this command prompt so basically what you will have to do is you will have to do uh, run a check disk which will um, fix in case if there are any driver error so for that you will have to click on search and look for file explorer open file explorer uh, maximize this window and um, what you can do is you can op uh, go to desktop or you can click on this PC on the top left corner of the screen do a right click go to properties under properties um, you will have to click on tools under tools you will have to click on check and scan for the drive so basically what this will do is it will try to scan if there are any errors um, on your hard drive so once this is done I would suggest you to go ahead and restart the computer and uh, try to check if the issue has been resolved in case if the issue is not resolved the next thing what I would suggest you to do is uh, go to the search menu and type main.cpl open which will open up the mouse properties under mouse properties what you will see is under pointer option you will have to go ahead and uncheck the box which says show location of pointer when I press the control key if it is checked go ahead and uncheck it click on apply and then click on ok and uh, that see if uh, that resolve the problem in case if that doesn't resolve the problem uh, check if you have Microsoft Office installed on the computer in case if you have Microsoft Office installed on the computer I would suggest you to go ahead and repair a Microsoft Office to do that you will have to click on search and type app viz.cpl this will open up the programs and features window locate for Microsoft Office it would be in alphabetical order in my case I am using Office Professional Plus 2019 click on change if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue and use the option which says online repair and then click on repair so once you click on repair you would see that Microsoft Office would try to go and repair by itself and uh, once it has been repaired try to restart the computer and see if you are facing any problem in case if the issue doesn't resolve or what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution so I hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.